about uh, his religious background. Oh, extremely Catholic. I mean, couldn't have been more extremely Catholic. How can I stress that? Um, he wanted to become a priest. They rejected him because he had a lack of faith. He wanted to be a priest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he, did he ever discuss that with you, wanting to be mm -hmm. a priest? He discussed a lot about religion. I'm not sure precisely about discussing wanting to be a priest. What he, I remember discussing is his run-ins with the nuns because John did not believe in the virgin birth and he uh, was having a um, was being threatened with excommunication at that time and he said this virgin birth is nonsense it's impossible and the nuns told him to shut up and he wouldn't he kept on with it he was rabble rousing about the virgin birth okay he was absolutely rabble rousing about it insisted on going on and on about this virgin birth is nonsense and at that time, they were going to excommunicate him, and he was kind of aggravated about that, you know, and thought, oh, that's tough as a bunch of hooey. At this point, he's a pantheist or a heathen, and I asked him when I got back in touch with him, tell me about, you know, your religion, whatever happened, all that. And he said, to tell you the truth, your own father had more influence on me than anyone else in terms of religion, more than any, any uh, priest or any nun. That your father made more sense to me than anyone else. My father is just a religious debunker, and he basically says that all religions are um, con jobs. Just they're just basically con jobs, and that's all they are. And that the more they seem to be upstanding, that's just more of a sign that they're a con. Now, it's my understanding that Schaefer was a uh, Catholic layman of the year. One time, is that correct? I don't know. I didn't uh, hear that. I understand that he funny. was. Capital Lamb of the Year. Yeah. Well, he's trying to do good. He's just trying to do good. He's a cop like you. Was like he, one uh, of your peers. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> and the father was disrespectful of the mother and would, and would say ugly, hateful things to her in front of the son. And the son would try to kill the father. And the son took a, a golf club this and is shape you talking about. bashed his father on the skull and left a permanent dent in the skull. What age did that happen? In his teenagers, years, around the same time, 17, 18. And then another time he cracked him on the head with a um, ketchup bottle, broke it. And I was there one day when his father called the mother a bitch and John um, duped, duped it out with them. And I pulled John off his father and said, come on, you know come on out here and cooled him off from attacking his father. Was his father abusive toward him, toward John? His father uh, was critical of John, wanted John to do more, and the mother would <coughs> interfere and fight John's battles with the father. Did the father uh, have any uh, history of uh, psychiatric problems? I, oh, I, I don't know. I, I he did co try to commit suicide after they were divorced after and after John was in jail. Okay, he tried to commit suicide. Tried to shoot himself. Okay. Oh. Another thing that was manifested, in which John will admit to today, is that the father preferred the daughter and that John wanted to be a girl to get the father's approval. How so is there some gender uh, dysphoria there? Not a homosexual, but a, a desire to be of the opposite gender to please the father. Did John explain this to you? Or is this your own John concept? said this. Oh, John said that to you. Well, let me put it this way. John said this in the interviews with the psychiatrists that were in the court record, and that he didn't deny that. He didn't say that that was a lie. That he desired to be a female in order to please his father, gain his father's attention. Right. Now, uh, these interviews with the psychiatrists, he also, which it was much after I got involved with Schaefer again this year, and became quite ensnared in this whole situation before I got a hold of these and read them, and where he states that his problems sexually began after this uh, highly intelligent girl rejected him. That's interesting. Okay. And he says, I then begin to tie myself to trees and punish myself. In the sense that the, 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 the flow, the logic there was that he, he had a failed romance with this girl he had for four years. Somehow she wound up rejecting him. And then this highly intelligent girl claimed that she rejected him too. So it you. must, yeah, so it must be his fault or something. So from that, it was a turning point in his psychosexual development mm -hmm. that he said after that happened, after this unnamed female rejected him, 
that, quote unquote, I then became a masochist. And that's when I began to dress in, in um, women's clothing and tie myself up. And my, again, my um, layman's psychiatric interpretation of that was that he was playing out his primal drama, playing all the roles and trying to get it right. Now tell me this, what was his birth order? He was the eldest. Oh, oh, and he, Ted Bundy, shades of t typical serial killer profile. He uh, was six months after the, the uh, met wedding okay. and is convinced that he was illegitimate and unwanted. Mm -hmm. Bing, bing, bing. Absolutely. Did he, he said he had a sister, younger sister. Yeah. How old, so how much? I think she's one year younger than John or maybe two years younger than John. Did he have any other siblings? Yeah, then he has a, a boy. 